So what's the deal with soft loops? Why do so many holster makers recommend them? And how can you use them most effectively? If you've ever tried them and found them frustrating, this video is for you. Soft loops, also called snap loops or pull the dot loops, have been around for a long time. The idea of a flexible loop material as a primary belt attachment is very reliable, it moves with you, and it can't suddenly crack or fail, unlike some metal or plastic belt clips or attachments. But when people say pull the dot, what they're actually talking about is this snap. And if you see, it's got a dot at the top. And that's because this fastener has an internal tab at the six o'clock position, and it's a directional snap, which means it only opens or closes if you apply force in the right direction. This is great for holster wear because it keeps the snap securely on your belt, but it can also make getting the holster on and off kind of a pain. So I've got a few tips and tricks about how to do that. A little bit more about the background. The, the soft loops that I use and most other Caddx holster makers use is based on a webbing made by a US company called Biothane. It's incredibly strong. It's resistant to moisture. Your sweat won't damage it. It won't stretch and you're unlikely to ever tear it. The snaps themselves are available in two versions. Pull the dot snaps can be found in a mil spec version or a soft close version. We use the soft close version. We used to use the mil spec one, but found that many more customers struggled to use it effectively. So we, we switched to the slightly easier to open and close soft close version. So on the inside of the snap, you'll see this little tab at six o'clock. It's very important because that's what sets the direction that the soft loop opens and closes. When the soft loop is actually mounted to a strut in this case, we have a male portion called a stud, and then the female portion on the loop is called a socket. The socket tab needs to go under the edge of the stud, and then you close the snap by rolling up. This would sit in this orientation on the belt. To open, you do the reverse. You press down and out from the top of the snap, engaging, releasing the untabbed side first, and then the tab comes free. If you try to go square on, that tab doesn't allow you to close the loop. And if you have the loop closed and you try to open from the bottom, from the tab side first, it will not come loose. And that's why we like them because they're very secure and force has to be applied in the correct direction to open the loop. This can mean though that they're kind of a pain to get on and off. I have a separate video with tips about that. Soft loops can mount directly to the holster shell as shown here, or they can be mounted to a strut shown here. This makes the holster tuckable. This version of the holster with direct mount snap loops is not. No matter whether you're wearing a tuckable rig or not, the soft loops will be visible over the front of your belt and the snap will sit above the top of your belt. So it's not the most discreet option if you're wanting to carry tuckable, but it's very secure. When you first get a holster with snap loops on it, you might find it's kind of kind of stiff. And the best thing to do is put on a movie you like and sit down with a flathead screwdriver, watch your movie, and just open and close the snap dozens and dozens of times. There is a trick to getting them open if you find they're really stuck. You take a flathead screwdriver, you put it in between the socket and the stud at the 12 o'clock position, and you don't pry or lever, you just turn like you're twisting a screw. And that little bit of leverage will pop the top of the snap free, and then you can release it. So if you find that your snap loops are too stiff, watch a movie, work them open and closed a bunch, and then if they ever really get stuck, a flathead screwdriver will pop it open. If you find over time that your snap loops open and close too easily because you've gradually worn in the stud, you can actually restore some of the crispness of the closing by loosening the screw, rotating the stud 90 degrees so that a fresh portion of the stud is engaging that tab, and then you should be back to closer to the original feel of the snap. They're great, they're very durable, and most of them come with multiple holes, which allow you to adjust the snap loop to the size of your belt. Out of the box, this will fit a 1.75 belt, even a pretty fat one, and you can size down and make it tighter all the way down to a 1.5 belt, and if you really wanna go small, you can punch your own hole below there and make it even smaller for a one and a quarter belt or anything else you wanna attach it to. So I love snap loops, they're very durable, they're secure once they're on your belt, and they flex with you. I have a separate video on tips for putting them on and getting them off comfortably when you're putting on your everyday carry gear, so check back for that.